that my best friend she a real bad I've picked up some products from the new Laura Lee Los Angeles and Lunar Beauty Full Fantasy Collection. We are gonna test it out today and create a look. I'm very excited. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Rachel. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I'm gonna give you close-ups, swatches, information about the collection. Then we're gonna get to using the products. I always put timestamps down below if you wanna skip around. I'm also gonna link this collection down below as well as everything else that's on my face. So let's do it. Okay, so I will first start off by saying the packaging on everything is so beautiful. It is that mix of Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles, although I will say it looks and feels like Lunar Beauty actual packaging, like whoever does their packaging. Let's go through each of the products. It came with this little information card, which is super helpful. We first have the 18 shade color palette. Now I personally only own one Lunar Beauty palette and it's the Strawberry Dream palette. I bought it long ago when it launched and it is giving the same thing with that raised packaging with those like metallic elements. It's very beautiful, but it has that Laura Lee Los Angeles neutral vibe to it. And then here is the inside. It looks so beautiful. I have not swatched it yet. I, it's so pretty that I don't even wanna touch it, but I will, don't you worry. And it's mostly neutrals with a couple of pops. I do like the fact that you have deep colors, mid-tone colors, light colors, We've got a little bit of everything. We've got a mixture of matte and shimmer. This does retail for $48. And then we have the Full Fantasy Cheek Palette. This, I'm so excited for this. Same outer packaging as the eyeshadow palette. And here is what the inside looks like. Look at these blushes, look at them. And we have two highlights over here. One highlight is more like gold champagne. One is more like rose gold. And then we've got a variety of different blushes. I've not tried the blush formula from either brand, so I am very excited to give this a shot. This does retail for $35. And I bought both of the lipsticks. These retail for $14 each. Uh, the packaging on this is very pretty. It is a plastic component, so it's a little bit more lightweight. And then it's a fancy thing where you press the top and then the bottom is where you pull it out. And there are two different shades. We have Mora and Lanny. Mora is more of a warm tone peachy nude and Lanny is more of a lighter cool tone. So very excited. Just upon swatching them, they seem like a cream lipstick with a little bit of shine. And there was also a brush collection, which included a brush set and a cosmetic bag for $70. I did not purchase that. And you could buy the full collection for $135. I love this card with them on it. I think this collaboration makes a lot of sense. People have been waiting for this for years, right? These products look so beautiful. I want them on my face now. Enough talking, let's do it. So uh, this, this, what do I want to do? Two hours later. This shirt, by the way, is from Laura Lee's boutique, Minim LA. I will link her boutique down below. I actually really like a lot of pieces that I bought from that boutique. Really, really cute stuff. Uh, I don't think this shirt's available. It's quite old. Okay, um, I'm stalling, as you can see, to try to decide what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna fly by the seat of our pants today. I'm gonna go in with the shade Wear Back, right up here, this kind of neutral brown transition shade. I'm going in with a fluffy brush. I'm just gonna put this through the crease. I've already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, by the way. You're gonna have to let me know if you picked up the collection. What are your thoughts on the collection? Let me know, I'm curious. I have also tried Laura Lee Los Angeles's eyeshadow formula. I have two of her palettes. And I actually really, really enjoy her formula a lot, a lot, a lot. So that was very nice. I went in with like a lighter hand as a transition. Then I dipped back in and kind of pushed it into my crease. And it actually did look like I used a couple of shades when I really only used one. That's a good sign. I'm just gonna take a smaller fluffy brush with that exact same shade and just run this on my lower lash line. Very, very nice. I like it. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade What's Going On, <laughs> which is one of the memes that Manny uses in a lot of his videos. So I'm gonna pop in with a slightly smaller brush, put this a little lower in the crease. Uh, that was pretty effortless to blend, zero issues so far. I'm gonna take an even smaller brush 
I kind of want to incorporate some purple. So I'm going to go into the shade Lanny right there and just push this up against the lash line in the outer corner. Just a little dibble dabble of purple. And I want to take that same shade on the same brush and just kind of touch it underneath my eye on the outer edge. No issues. No issues. And those mats gave me 0% fallout, which hallelujah, because I did my face makeup first, which I hardly ever do, but so far so good, everybody. No, nothing else to report. I'm gonna go in with the NYX glitter primer all over the lid. There are so many choices. Ooh, that's really, <gasps> that's the one. Fool Fam right here, which is like a, kind of like a pinkish purple with a lot of reflect in it. I'm just gonna use my finger to apply that. Very pretty. It feels very creamy, like in the pan when I put my finger in there. Don't mean to be flipping you off, sorry. That's really pretty. And just for funsies, I'm gonna go into the shade Social, this like deeper purple shimmer, and I'm gonna bridge where I put that shimmer and where the matte is, just to like layer it over a little bit. I don't know if this is gonna do anything at all whatsoever, but. Yeah, that's a little something. I wanna test out the black in the palette called Break Time. I'm gonna take a flat definer brush and I'm gonna line my upper lash line with it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop in and I'm gonna spray the brush and then just run it on my upper lash line. That worked out just fine and dandy. And then last but not least for my inner corner, this is really the only shade that I feel like would work for me. So let's see what it's like. It's called Cloudy. And I love a bat inner corner highlight, love it. Uh, I'm not sure how this is gonna look, let's see. Yep, that works just fine. All right, let's move on to the Chic palette. These products look so beautiful, so, so beautiful. Which one do I wanna use? I'm gonna mix a couple together. Let's see what happens with that. Uh, I'm gonna go first with a fluffy brush because I have no clue the pigmentation level on these at all whatsoever. I'm gonna pop into Peachy Keen and Rose Skyline. Let's combine those and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Those blended very easily. They mixed together beautifully. And this is, like I said, a pretty fluffy brush. So I feel like if you went in with a more dense brush, it'd be very pigmented, which is gonna work for several skin tones. And I love that they have this more like cool toned option that you could use as a contour or of course as a blush. And I love mixing blushes together. So even if you feel like one of these isn't gonna be your cup of tea to wear on its own, you could absolutely mix them together. And of course they have this like very in cool tone pink color, makes a lot of sense. Okay, for the uh, highlight, I'm gonna use Gold Fantasy, the slightly lighter shade. Pick that up on my brush and let's see what this looks like. Very pretty. Very pretty. That's a really pretty gold highlight, not overly like sparkly or chunky, but it is a very fine kind of sparkle to it. Pretty subtle, I would say, but I am using quite a fluffy highlighter brush. So again, if I went in with something a little more dense, it might be a little brighter, but very pretty. Very, very pretty. Super excited to continue playing with this. All right, so I just lined my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner because she is an icon. That's for sure. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. And I'm first gonna go in with Mora, which is the more warm one, which for me would be usually my preference, but I think I wanna wear the cool toned one today. So let's start off with Mora. Oh, it's pretty. It's warm tone, but it still definitely has a pink look to it. With this lip liner, it's very pretty. So this is Mora. I would say that they're very opaque. Like I didn't really use a ton 
of product and the, the pigment was there. Okay, so I took off Mora. I'm gonna go into Lanny next. Little bit lighter of a nude, but very, very pretty. What do you think? All right, I'm gonna pop off camera real quick. I'm just gonna get the rest of my look together, brush my hair, put on some earrings. You know how it is. And I will be right back to show you the final look and to give you my initial impression on the collection, this is not a review. I have to continue using these products before I give you like a full blown thought on it, but I can at least give you my first impressions. I'll be right back. All right, I am back and this is the finished look. What do you think? I love it. I think it came out so pretty. This shimmer on the lid with that little sparkle in there, gorge. So let me just kind of run through really quickly, give you my thoughts. Spoiler alert, I think everything is really great. There's nothing really major for me to say that's wrong with any of these products. Love the packaging on everything. The eyeshadow palette for the color story, I love. I love a neutral palette, but I also love dabbling in color. So we've got a little bit of both in here. I absolutely love that they have this very light matte shade for my inner corner. That is really important to me, especially if I'm traveling and I want an inner corner highlight. That's gonna go with every look that I could create, for me at least, in this palette. And I also love that there's a black. So very light, very deep, good variety of shimmers that you can pop on the lid to really change up the look. I'm really excited to continue creating more looks with the palette. And then the face palette, I also think is stunning. I already told you how I felt about the blushes. Blendable, easy to use, easy to control the pigment. Love the different shades. I like that there's two different tones of highlight on here. And I think that this is gonna work, like the highlights are gonna work for a variety of skin tones because they don't have a strong base color to them. They're pretty subtle, they're pretty versatile. So I like that. I'm excited to continue to use this. And then I like the lipsticks. This one that I'm wearing, which one is it? Lanny, right? It is a little pink, which is not really my usual thing. I'm not usually a pink lip girl, but I think it looks pretty. I think it looks pretty. It's giving 90s. Of course, I'm gonna continue to test these products, put them in a speed reviews in the future, as well as a palette ranking in the future. But my first impression is I think everything is really well done. I like it. Now I wanna hear from you. What are your thoughts on the collection? Did you pick it up? Did you pass on it? What do you think about all the products? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I would love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.